What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. Should talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers are born. And going over more of what Team Over and Sola has had to say regarding this movie. So recently, this is again from that video, an update, basically an extension of what I did yesterday. Somebody had asked him flat out, so the lawsuit won't affect the release of the film. He said, no, it won't. They, someone else followed up 2023, he stated 2022. So again, the year apparently that this movie again is gonna come out is 2022. Now, the interesting thing here is that there's still, again, an ongoing fraud lawsuit. The reason why that's interesting is because of the fact that with a fraud lawsuit going on, who, like, what theater chain honestly would want to be releasing a movie that's caught up in a fraud lawsuit even if it's a one night only fathom event i'm just trying to consider like what major chains are going to want to be involved with something that has a lawsuit like that going on i mean strength it's not impossible I, I can say that it's not it's not impossible it just seems kind of like this would be taking a risk if a major theater chain even showed this movie one time while it has a lawsuit going on the thing about it though is that Timo has somebody shout out to you Trevor and a shout out to you again Tina for sending me these screenshots uh Trevor is someone who worked with Timo on Iron Sky Iron Sky if you have been seeing some of the replies Trevor has been leaving over on Twitter his idea is that this seems to be following in line with a tax rebate scam that involves not having really any profit to come from the movie as far as like the distribution of it but mostly coming from the financial side of the budget i guess that went into making the movie uh some and he's his idea is that this is a, a another tax rebate scam something that i guess from his work with this director has happened before on countless iron sky projects and other projects and just things that were related to crowdfunding that didn't go well i'll leave a link to his twitter in the description if you want to actually see some of the things that he puts out over on his twitter in the replies it's very informative he'll also go over a lot of details with you pertaining to other things send you a lot of video links that are also very informative and he seems to know a, not, a lot more than our jeepers creepers 4 director if i'm being quite honest and again this is someone who worked hand in hand with him who seems to know of a pattern that this director that we have now for Jeepers Creepers 4 likes to follow and it just makes no sense to me why this movie would be released in any capacity with an ongoing fraud lawsuit I feel like that that would mean whoever does the release or host it is taking on a risk of also getting themselves caught up in something from myriad pictures maybe uh, but again, if there's no from those of you who have also reached out to me and kind of chimed in, if there's no injunction in court, then I guess, yes, who's really to stop them from re releasing this movie? Not that there's some of us who don't want to see it. It's just that we would, of course, rather the movie be released with all the right circumstances involved in it, because the other thing to consider is where is it going to be released at? Now, with his statement saying that, oh, this isn't going to stop it. Well, yeah, that's because you're not going to get what you were probably hoping to get, which was somehow, I guess, Screen Media doing one of their first biggest wide releases. Uh, they're not going to have that. They're going to probably have, again, a, a simple Fathom event that's really only one night, maybe, hosted at some theater that's probably not AMC or Regal. If it is, again, I just think they're going to take on a big risk there with the ongoing fraud lawsuit and probably not want to get involved in that. If it's not shown at one of those, it might be a Cinemark, or if it's not shown in the theater at all whatsoever, we can look over to Horror Hound, who again is someone that has partnered with this movie. They released an official steal from the movie. We know that the movie is gonna be set at the Horror Hound event, and you could have something go down where there's a festival that I know Horror Hound has coming up in September, where it looks like they have a few slots related to showing some film screenings. Now, this is going to take place though from the weekend of September 9th through 11th. So you could have a screening of a Jeepers Creepers Reborn happen there. You could very well do something like that. Uh, and then the movie could just be shown there and not have a theatrical release. Maybe only those in attendance will get to see it there. And then it's going to have a VOD run or something else altogether. How this is gonna work out, I don't know. This this really is just very, very interesting. To have an ongoing fraud lawsuit 
and your movie is still going to be released this year again i still have my doubts that it's going to be released i don't think it's going to be released this year i'll believe it when it actually happens he is stating that 2022 will continue to be the release year he's saying that this will not stop it which is again very interesting to consider when it seems like the one with the advantage right now in court is myriad pictures so again this 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 guy he has a lot of dirt on him in regards to just what trevor can deliver to you with receipts <laughs> and it's just like piling up on top of each other so again i would rather in my opinion for them not to have any involvement with these people if they were to explore jeepers creepers 5 i would rather them just step away from infinity films and myriad pictures can try to do this with somebody else or just call it quits altogether because this is not what we had in mind when we thought that at the end of jeepers creepers 2 20 years later close to 20 years later we'd be talking about a fraud lawsuit and continuing to get what seems to be maybe another subpar effort related to this universe and just how tainted it already is you know everybody is really just hoping that someday this ip can be turned into something that is worthy of the potential it showed even though again it's born out of this mind of someone who is clearly talented but you don't deserve to have another shot in this industry you just don't considering what you decided to do I'm all for you going out of your way if you want to live a better life and do better. That's fine and dandy. I personally would not want anything to do with you, but I'm not going to go out of my way to wish you any bad luck or anything like that. I just know that given what you use your position to do, there's a reason why a Victor Salva will no longer be someone people want to work with someone higher profile individuals who might even take on the ip say no i'm not doing that you know my reputation i'm not going to risk anything there someone who has a lower profile would do it because then they could just build up themselves and even surpass a jeepers creepers 5 if it is the actually the movie that we get that we still think jeepers creepers 4 will end up being but it seems like it's going to be more of jeepers creepers 3 at this point but let me know what you guys think about team most comments down in the comment section below do you think it's coming out this year if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to post social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video